guys welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna be telling you guys the movies that I want to watch on 2021 yes this is not my top 10 this is my top 12 just because I couldn't decide and there are a lot uh, there are a ton of movies that I want to watch next year uh, some of them were actually gonna be premiered this year and and were you know sadly moved to next year due to COVID and one of them actually I am I am gonna watch it next year just because I don't want to watch it in a very weird or or random uh, you know web page or whatever I want to watch it like for real and and I'm just gonna be talking a little bit about it you know as the video goes on but uh, just before I start please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel click to a notification bell below for you to have notifications whenever I upload and yeah you guys so let's start with my list so if you see me what you know watching or looking at <laughs> my computer, uh, it's because I have the list over here. And this video is gonna be divided into two videos. One of them is gonna be about series, and the other one is gonna be related to movies, which is this one. So let's start. Uh, I'm also gonna be putting the premiere dates with the name of the movie down below, you know, and I'm gonna have time stamp stamps or time lapse whatever in the comment section below just for you to guys know which movie i'm talking about and everything like that so i'm gonna start so the first movie that i'm gonna be watching next year and that is because i don't want to watch it on a random web page uh it's wonder woman you know wonder woman 1984 uh we all know that this this um, movie was premiered in mexico in december 17th of this year and um i am sad i am very sad about this because i can't go to the movies because of covid i am not gonna go to the movies just because of a movie like uh, even though if i'm a movie reviewer and reactor or whatever i love movies everything i'm not gonna risk my life going into a, a movie theater and if you guys don't think that's okay i don't know what you guys are thinking uh i'm looking into you know looking uh, out for my family and friends and i can do it uh, i feel like very very uh, insecure about it so i'm i'm just gonna wait for next year so wish me luck because there's a ton of spoilers on social media and i'm not looking into them because i'm sad like i'm seriously sad um the second one is gonna be also premiere on HBO Max. It's actually a movie that is gonna be, or it's one of the first movies that HBO Max has done, and that is named Locked Down with Anne Hathaway and many others. Ben Stiller is also there and then everything like that. I don't know a lot about the plot, to be honest, but I like the the cast. It's really amazing. Uh, I'm gonna put. Hopefully, I have a picture of the cast over here. But um, I I think the cast is really intriguing to me, and that's why I'm gonna be watching it. Hopefully next year. Uh, I don't know how in the hell I'm gonna do that because I do need a VPN or whatever to look into that. But I'm gonna ask friends and everything like that for them to, you know, give me a chance to watch them on their account or something. But yeah, it's it's intense, you guys. Like I am excited about this movie. The third one is Morbius with Jared Leto. Uh, I always had this, um, I don't know, fantasy of Jared Leto being a, a vampire, just because he is almost fifty, and he looks so handsome. Like it's just insane. Like he looks like he's on his thirties. Like it's, I don't know how he does it. Like probably has this intense skincare routine i don't know like i really really want to know uh so jared if you're watching this like please let me know what do you do with your skin and everything because damn like you're like you're in the, your 30s like seriously the fourth movie is Zack snyder scott from justice league you know um we all know justice league was not the very best movie we all know why and we know that Zack snyder had this uh, vision of this movie being created in a very different way and uh, he is actually giving this cut because the fans requested the cut and it was like such intense request like for years like it, and, and I'm very excited for him I, I know that he's really excited to share the vision that he had and 
I am very excited, you guys. Like, I love Batman. I love the DC, DC universe, even though many of you guys don't. I, I love it, and I wish we had more. And apparently, Jared Leto is gonna be here as the Joker again, which I am, I am blown away. Like, I, I just can't. Like, I seriously can't. So, uh, let's just hope it's gonna be great. Apparently, it's gonna be four hours long. So, you know, have your dinner, have your popcorn, have everything ready. And it's gonna be premiered on HBO Max, so that's why I'm telling you guys, I need to have this HBO Max. I don't know why HBO HBO Max doesn't have this this uh, platform in Mexico. It's just stupid. Like it's just stupid. So HBO Max, like just do it. Like seriously, just do it. Um, so the fifth one is No Time to Die, uh, which is I believe is Craig's, um, which is the actual name of the the agent um 007 agent uh is gonna be i think it's his last movie uh and i don't know if he's gonna be dead by that by the end of this movie but i i would love to be a bond girl like it would be such a great awesome thing like they're always so beautiful always so sexy and uh, inspiring and i don't know i love it i love i love bond and uh hopefully by april again everything is fine and we are gonna be able to go to the movies to watch it but we still don't know so i don't know you guys i'm very excited about this and um ramin it's actually ramin you know ramin malek from you know queen movie um the one who played Freddie mercury he is gonna be the villain so for me I love Rami. He he is so so cool and amazing. And for me, he's kind of handsome. Like I, I I don't know. He's cool. So I'm excited to see him as a villain. Yeah. So the sixth one, this one, I will be able to watch it on my home, and that is Cruella. Cruella, it's you know, it's gonna be the origin story of Cruella, which I'm very really interested on. And the the one who's playing Cruella, which I don't know if I'm excited or not excited, uh, it's Emma Stone. Um, she is funny. Uh, she is a really good actress, and I really hope this movie kills it uh, on the box office as well as in Disney Plus. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna be premiere on Disney Plus. Well. 95% sure, but uh, it will be premiered on May 26, 2021. Very excited for that. I can't wait. Uh, I, I really, really want to know why she's obsessed with spots. So truly excited. And I actually recently watched the old ones uh, and they are amazing. Like seriously, they are amazing. Um, the seventh, it's a creepy movie and that's The Conjuring, uh, The Devil Made Me Do It and uh, this will premiere on June 3rd, 2021. I am a huge fan of The Conjuring. On Halloween I watched The, the Conjuring Saga with my friends and it was fantastic. I love it. Uh, I'm very afraid of it but I'm very excited. Like, you know, the cast is always so amazing and we're gonna have, you know, um, the original cast coming back as well as some other new uh, actors and apparently we're gonna have a very very cool devil here which i'm gonna post a picture over here just, to, just for you to guys know the things that we're gonna be watching in this movie like they're gonna be insane like i am excited so the eighth movie it's in the heights why because for me this is a very latin movie and you know, we all know uh, that In the Heights, uh, it's a musical that was written by uh, Lin-Manuel Miranda, which is that also, which who also wrote Hamilton. And for me, I knew In the Heights before Hamilton, of course. Uh, I actually auditioned for the play on my um, on my school, and it was. It was very difficult, you guys. Like, it is a difficult dance. It's all very hip hoppy, very Latin dance. And for me to to see a Mexican play a Mex, you know, um, Latin person in in the Heights because I know um, I knew her. I don't know if she knows me, but I knew her because she was on my singing classes, which is, she's Melissa Barrera. She was on on my singing classes when I was little and to see her here is just like 
she has gone a long way I'm, I'm very excited about it uh very very excited i'm very excited because i'm mexican and she's mexican and she's you know empowered and she's as well as um many others have have been on hollywood and ever you know now and um and it's excited to to see mexicans on hollywood you know so i'm very excited for that and you know the music is amazing you should you really guys should check the musical on spotify it's really really cool my favorite is 96,000 uh i believe there is six yeah i think it's 96,000 the, the song that i like um either way my ninth movie it's called Space Jam 2. Space Jam is gonna be premiered on July 16, 2021. Uh, and I'm very, very excited. Like the cast, it's amazing. I am I have no clue what the story is gonna be about. Hopefully, we're gonna have a trailer about it about it um you know very soon because uh, you know for me um Space Jam has always been um, a very interesting movie very exciting very funny uh box bunny it's like he is so funny and lebron james is gonna be you know like yeah michael jordan and and billy murray i don't know if he's gonna be coming back for this one but um i i love box bunny and and his friends they are really fantastic of course, I don't compare it with Disney, like Mickey and Minnie and everything, but uh, Bugs Bunny for me is like more for adults. So I don't know what is what, what is going to be happening with this movie. I don't know, but it's going to be pretty, pretty cool. Um, also, oh my God, you guys, I have been waiting for this movie since 2016. And I, in my mind, I thought it was going to be different, but it turned out to be very, very different from what I thought it would be. And it was really a disappointment. And after I researched that James Gunn was gonna be premiering, the, well, was gonna be directing this movie, I got a little bit of a hope, to be honest. Uh, I'm not a high, high hope, to be honest. But I did a reaction about this this uh, trailer, and I'm gonna be putting it over here. Uh, but that's the Suicide Squad. The Suicide Squad is coming on August sixth. 2021 on HBO Max and I am very excited about it. You know, you guys know that I'm a huge fan of Harley Quinn. Like I have her here, 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 and I have more here on my, on my drawer and everything like that. But I love Harley Quinn. I, I think she's amazing. And Margot Robbie, like we could be friends. Like I'm seriously tell, telling you guys that we could be friends. Like I love her. She's fantastic. She's almost my age. I, I love her. And she's so, so empowering and so inspiring for young actresses and, uh, you know, I'm entrepreneurs. Like, she's amazing. So really looking forward to, to see what Harley is going to be doing because also Harley is going to be having her original colors, you guys. Finally. Like, seriously, finally. Thank you, James Gunn. Finally. And she's going to be having a ton of new characters around her. So very excited about that. And... I mean, I think it's gonna be brutal. So there are a lot of deaths. I don't know what is gonna be happening. So thank you, James Gunn. <laughs> so my 11th movie is Dune. Uh, on, on it's gonna be premiere on October 1st. I don't know where. Probably on on movie on the movie theaters. I don't know if in HBO Max or anything like that. But uh, Dune uh, for me it's interesting. Uh, as you guys may already know, I. I don't understand Star Wars. I love the aspect of Star Wars. I love Baby Yoda and everything like that, but I don't understand it. Like, I don't understand it. I haven't watched the saga completely. I got a little bit bored at the beginning when I was little and I couldn't, you know, watch it all. But uh, I'm very excited for Doom because I think it's similar to Star Wars. So, and you know, the cast is fantastic, you guys. Like, like seriously fantastic like i'm gonna i'm gonna put the name of, over here because i am very bad at names but timothy chalmet he is a fantastic actor and we have, and we have zendaya like zendaya you guys and jason momoa oscar isaac like stop me right there like seriously uh rebecca ferguson as well Whew. 
a lot of people here so very excited for that and i just can't wait seriously uh and my last movie that i want to watch <laughs> very excited is halloween kills which will be premiered on October 15, 2021. You guys know that I'm a huge horror fan. I love, I love Scream. I love Freddy, 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 you know, the Nightmare, the nightmare um, on Elm the Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah. Uh, and also, you know, um, J Jason? It's called Jason? I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what I blushed out right now, but um, I love every single... Conjuring movie, I love Chucky, I love Chucky's Bride, I love, I, I love everything except zombies, I don't like zombies, but I like vampires, I love, I love ghosts, I love everything, the haunting of house hill, whatever, I love it, so um, to have Halloween kills coming, it's, it's fantastically, seriously recommended, it's really, really good, even though it was made, I believe, in the 80s, uh, late 70s first 80s I believe but she just does an amazing job like I seriously love Jamie Lee Curtis she's so cool and amazing I love her Ooh, there was a lot a lot to talk about so thank you all for watching my video hope you guys like it and let me know which movies are you most excited about for 2021 and also I just want to point out that uh, even though this precise video is gonna be very long i just want to say thank you guys for to, for this year uh, the support that you have given me has been amazing i know that i have a very weird schedule um but i'm gonna have a lot of work to do with this channel next year so please stay tuned for that please go and tell your friends that you, they should follow me um my reactions are coming i already have a new microphone um probably i'm gonna change my scenery i don't know i'm thinking about it uh but uh, please you guys let me know what do you guys think about my videos what do you want to see on my on, on next year's videos uh, I what are you most excited about for next year I don't know a lot of things are gonna be happening next year so please stay tuned for that and I will see you very very soon thank you guys bye